Okay, this is just a short overview of uh, the power system operating in the caravan. So the Victron Connect app is how you access your Victron products via Bluetooth, if they have Bluetooth. So the Victron Connect app is located in the App Store for Apple or the Google Play Store for Google. Uh, so if we just hit the Victron Connect app, and if we hit the refresh button, we'll see what devices are nearby. So we can see we've got one MPPT, which is the solar controller, and we've got one BMV712, which monitors the battery. So we'll have a look at the Caravan Solar MPPT. If it's first time connecting, then the password will be six zeros. Uh, I recommend not changing the password as it's, if you lose it, it's hard to reset it again. Uh, so at the moment, we've got 293 watts coming in. Uh, we can see our solar voltage and current and we can see our battery voltage and current and at the moment we're in the bulk charge phase uh, because the battery isn't full yet if we hit the history tab we can go back and look at our maximum power uh, how long it was in bulk absorption and float for um, we can look back 30 days but at the moment this device has just been installed so it's only new uh, if we go back to the main menu and we go to our caravan battery the password again is the same, it's six zeros. We can go through and we can actually see at the moment there is 99% of the battery remaining. Uh, we have 53.7 volts. We've got 4.67 amps coming into the battery. If there was a minus in front of that, that would mean how much is going out of the battery. Uh, we've got the same for the power, 252 watts. And our consumed amp and our infinite time remaining because at the moment we're charging the time remaining is infinite so if we switch on some lights in the caravan you'll see our power drop because not as much power is going from the solar panels to the batteries it's actually going straight to the lights uh, and if we turn those off the advantage of a system like this with a, a 3000 va inverter on a 48 volt system it's made for high power levels so we can turn one of the air conditioners on uh, and that will take a little bit to start. So we see the power reducing at the moment. That's the fan starting and the compressor should... Yep, so the compressor's just started. And see, with a 48 volt system, at the moment we're only drawing 15 amps from the batteries, so we only need smaller circuit breakers, smaller cables, and there's less losses. Uh, if we had a 12 volt system, for instance, instead of the 18 amps, or, or let's say it's 20 amps we're drawing at the moment, we'd be drawing 80 amps. So we'd have hot cables, uh, inefficient, because you would, you'd be uh, pulling so much more current. Uh, so the 48 volt system is a huge advantage there. At the moment, we're pulling 925 watts. Uh, so it's telling us at the current rate, we've got about five hours and 20 minutes of runtime left in the battery. Uh, so this is good if you just want to have the air conditioner on, you know, 15 minutes at a time at night if you really need to warm the place up. Uh, or you can upgrade the battery to have a larger system. It all depends what you, what you want. Um, but just regular appliances, fridges, lights, TV, computers, laptops. Uh, this battery is going to be more than enough for that. It's just the air conditioning uh, draws quite a lot of power. Anything that heats and cools draws a lot of power. Uh, another advantage of the large inverter is uh, a lot of small generators won't start an air conditioner in a caravan, uh, but with this inverter that can take up the, the large surge at the start and start the air conditioner running, and you can have your generator plugged in and just humming along, and the battery will even out all the dips and and rises in, in the power usage. So let's say we turn our air conditioner back off again. It will take some time to turn off. And now we're charging again. So it shouldn't take too long at this rate to recover back up to 100% and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.